Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us here at Railbookers. It's great to have you with us on this uh, glorious sunny Thursday. Uh, we are here to uh, provide a special online presentation today uh, on seven ways to see the Alps with Railbookers Holidays. My name is Anna Davis and I'll be your host for this afternoon's presentation. I'm the sales and marketing manager here at Railbookers uh, with about 15 years experience of selling rail holidays. Just a little bit of housekeeping before we get into the main presentation. Uh, we have added a map for you to download on the right hand side of your screen um, and we also have a questions box there also on the right hand side uh, so feel free to put any questions in there um, and we'll happily provide an answer and we'll have a question time at the end of the presentation so this is an example of the european network map that we've added for you to download um, it also features in the front of all of our brochures but it's just a great way to show you uh, where is possible to travel uh, within europe with railbookers um, and which destinations are very easily uh, joined up with the european uh, rail network as I mentioned, that map is in front in the front of our brochure um, as a pop out, but we also have um, a number of other brochures that I'll just very briefly touch on now. So Railbook is part of a wider group. Um, we sell independent, self-led, uh, tailor-made holidays using national rail systems really around the world. Um, our brochure, the independent rail holidays brochure there on the left, focuses on an, mostly our European itineraries and European holidays. Um, the Via Rail Vacations brochure in the middle of the screen there uh, showcases our independent Canadian rail holidays. And lastly but not least, we have our sister company Amtrak Vacations on the right hand side, uh, which again offers independent tailor-made holidays, uh, but this time uh, to the USA. And all of those brochures can be requested uh, on our our website railbookers.co.uk. So why book with Railbookers? And I know that a number of you on this uh, presentation today have already booked with us, uh, so thank you very much for that. But bear with me whilst I just highlight some of the things that for, for new customers uh, make Railbookers a bit different. Firstly, uh, we're rail experts and, and nobody else really does what we do. So we provide, as I say, independent tailor-made, self-guided holidays around national rail networks. Um, we understand rail, we know rail, we speak rail, and our team here um, have uh, an extensive knowledge of the best routes and the best timings of rail systems really um, around the world. We have insider access, so thanks to our direct partnerships with both rail companies and hotels. Um, worldwide. We have special rates and special availability that may not be accessible um, to anybody else. Uh, what that also means is that we can create these tailor-made bespoke holidays for you up to two years in advance, which is something that really sets us apart. Booking with Rail Bookers is also very flexible. Um, so everything that you see on our brochure, everything that is on our website in terms of holidays, really just there is to give you a suggestion of what is possible. Um, and we can change any of those itineraries to suit your personal requirements, whether that's adding extra nights in, changing the itinerary to do it in reverse, or combining a number of holidays together. We can book the rail tickets, the hotel accommodation, sightseeing, transfers, and even flights if you would prefer to fly in um, to any of these destinations to pick up the rail itinerary once on the continent. All of that is uh, possible with us. Our booking process is also hassle-free, and so because we're rail experts, um, we know that sometimes booking rail uh, independently yourselves can be complicated with various routes, the uh, different providers, the different languages, and that's really where we step in. So we will help you plan your holiday, um, provide everything that you need, all elements of that. And we do that on the phone so that we can really understand what your um, requirements are and to make sure that we really put the best possible holiday itinerary together. And we're also incredibly proud to have won many industry awards, um, recognising the um, attention to detail and our dedication in providing our customers with the very best rail holiday experiences. Just an, uh, a note also to add that we are fully ABTA and ATOL protected, so any bookings with us are done so with a total peace of mind and confidence in our brand. 
So I mentioned that we can book all of our holidays um, up to two years in advance and just wanted to briefly mention some of the partners uh, that we work with in terms of the railways to, to facilitate that. So firstly, uh, with Eurostar, really the gateway to many of our uh, European uh, holidays. We uh, also work closely with Trenitalia for Italy, with SNCF for France, with Deutsche Bahn for Germany, with Renfe for Spain and with SBB for Switzerland in Europe. But then, uh, as you would expect, having looked at the brochures that we also provide, we have those partnerships with Via Rail in Canada um, and with Amtrak in the US. We are Amtrak's official tour operator here in the UK. And we can also provide um, those quotes and bookings for uh, journeys on some of the most iconic trains in the world, including the Orient Express. So all of that allows us to put, as I say, our holidays together with all elements that you need up to two years before you travel. And we have a number of holiday types, and I'll just briefly run through this before we get into the heart of the uh, presentation on the Alps. So various holiday types available. As I say, everything we do is tailor-made and customised around your requirements. And within that range of tailor-made holidays, we have a number of different areas. Uh, scenic rail journeys, for example, some of which I'm about to cover now. Uh, luxury and private train journeys as well, as well as city breaks, whether that's twin, triple or even quadruple city breaks. We find that taking the train between any number of uh, cities, whether that's in Europe or uh, North America or anywhere else in the world for that matter, is really easily done by taking the train. Uh, you arrive in the heart of the city, um, there's very little transfer time and you can really get on with enjoying um, your holiday in each of those destinations. We offer also a variety of rail and sail holiday types, particularly um, covering uh, Alaska and there's more to come on that later this year. And also, as we're about to see, um, we offer a wide variety of uh, holidays in the lakes and mountains regions as well. So our holidays uh, and seven ways to see the Alps and really we've categorised these uh, ways to see the Alps into two sections. Firstly, our holidays that include travelling via the Alps. So you're seeing some spectacular scenery en route through the Alps uh, to another part of the world. In this case, most of the time that's Italy. Um, and then later in the presentation, we'll also have a look at a few of our holidays that really include travelling uh, more within the Alps, being based in the Alpine regions um, to, uh, to give you a slightly different experience. And firstly, we'll start with really a, a train that needs no, or journey that needs no introduction, and that's the Venice Simplon Orient Express to Venice. And we have a number of itineraries, including the Orient Express, um, including this one here, which is a, suggested as a five-day itinerary, and takes uh, you from London to Venice on that overnight um, incredible, uh, lux incredibly luxurious train um, to Venice before spending three nights in Venice and returning uh, home either by air or indeed by return rail. And that's an also another important point that I'll make um, about our holidays. We can uh, rail all the way. As I have said, uh, we can arrange flights as well. But if you'd like to rail all the way and take the train from your UK local station, we can also uh, arrange all of those tickets for you as well. So you can travel uh, from your local UK station down to London and across uh, the continent on Eurostar and beyond for your European adventure. Just a few images here of life on board the Orient Express, uh, really a return to a golden age of travel. And it's really an incredibly um, special way to celebrate a special occasion, an anniversary, a special birthday, for example, um, where uh, customers dress for dinner. It's a really special ambience um, and a few more images here of the uh, private cabins and ensuite uh, facilities there. Now, this particular Orient Express holiday, as I said, is a five day itinerary at that price of £3,279 per person includes your one night on board the Orient Express in a private twin cabin with all of the exemplary service that you would expect, really. So you have a dedicated steward uh, throughout your journey. You uh, have a number of catering uh, options included, a welcome drink on arrival, a three course lunch, an afternoon tea, a four course dinner and indeed your continental breakfast the following morning. And that price also includes your three nights hostel stay in Venice on a bed and breakfast basis and the flight back from Venice to London. 
Now, outside of the Orient Express holidays, we have a number of other ways to um, travel via the Alps into Italy using scheduled day services, uh, Eurostar to Paris, connecting with TGV Lyria services from Paris down to Geneva or Zurich, for example. And that really allows you to um, see some of the spectacular Swiss scenery without the um, expense necessarily of the Orient Express holidays. So our most popular via the Alps holiday has always been and continues to be Venice via the Alps. And this will have you traveling from London via Paris, as I mentioned, to Geneva, where you'll spend one night in Geneva before traveling um, and departing Geneva that morning, traveling to Venice, really on one of the most scenic routes in Europe, the Simplon Pass, which is the uh, old route that the Orient Express used to take. So you'll relax on board the train following the shores of Lake Le Mans uh, and Swiss vineyards in the background, uh, with also stunning views of the Alps um, at every turn. It's really um, some of the most stunning views of the Alps in the entire region on this Simplon Pass route. So you'll then arrive uh, via Milan into Venice, where you'll spend three nights uh, or longer if you wish to extend your stay before either flying back to London or returning by train via Turin. Just a few examples of those vineyard and Lake Le Mans images and, of course, a city that needs no introduction, Venice. So this Venice via the Alps uh, holiday, uh, we suggest as a five day itinerary and um, prices start from uh, £769 per person on this holiday. And that cost here includes your Eurostar and onward rail travel. Um, throughout the trip, the one night hotel stay in Geneva and the three nights in Venice, again, on a bed and breakfast basis. And that price also includes your flight back from Venice to London, although rail options are absolutely uh, available as well, should you wish to rail uh, all the way. Now, I'm going to briefly run through a number of different variations on this via the Alps holiday. All of them uh, include travelling along this spectacular Simplon Pass, as I say, boasting some of the most stunning views of the Alps really in the entire region. So we have any number of variations on this. And remember that you could also combine perhaps Venice via the Alps with uh, a trip down to Florence to combine a number of Italian cities. So that's absolutely definitely an option. So this Florence via the Alps holiday, uh, exactly the same routing as I previously mentioned on our Venice option via Geneva into Milan uh, to change in Milan to uh, then travel on to Florence for three nights in Florence before either flying back to the UK uh, or returning by train via Turin and Paris. Just some more images there of the destinations included. Our five day Florence via the Alps holiday it starts from £789 um, and as with the previous holiday that includes your journey to Paris and onwards to Florence on the rail. Uh, it also includes the hotel stays in Geneva and in Florence on a bed and breakfast basis and it includes the flight from Florence to the UK. Can go a little further on the via Alps itinerary and travel also down to Rome. Uh, so again, traveling via to Geneva, changing in Milan to high speed rail onto Rome, where you'll spend three nights or longer if you wish in Rome before returning back to the UK. The price for the Rome via the Alps holiday starts from £809 and that includes uh, all of the elements that I've previously talked through on the other uh, Venice via the Alps and Florence via the Alps holiday uh, with the obvious change here that that includes your three nights hotel stay in Rome and return flight back from Rome. One variation of the via the Alps uh, holidays that we're seeing uh, a great deal of interest in this year is, is the Amalfi Coast. Um, so again, traveling through the Simplon Pass into Northern Italy, connecting on high speed uh, Trenitalia services between Milan and Florence, breaking the journey in Florence for one night before then traveling down to uh, Sorrento for four nights on the Amalfi Coast there before returning back to London. And we're seeing, as I say, a great deal of interest in this uh, variation so far for 2019. 
So our Amalfi Coast via the Alps holiday is a slightly longer duration. We suggest it as a seven day itinerary uh, as a starting point, although, as I've said, this can be extended with additional hotel stays uh, during the holiday. And the price for this starts from £1,199, which includes your outbound rail all the way down to uh, Sorrento via Geneva and Florence. It includes the hotel stays there in Geneva, Florence and Sorrento, again, on a bed and breakfast basis. And it also includes the flight back from Naples to the UK although as with all of our holidays the return rail option is also available. Before we move away uh, to look at uh, other holidays uh, really based in the Alps rather than travelling via, just also point out that there are other versions of these Italian holidays via the Alps, including um, Cinque Terre via the Alps, Lake Como via the Alps um, and Sicily via the Alps. And as I said, we can also combine any number of Italian cities uh, to uh, create a longer itinerary if you'd wish to visit more. So looking at holidays now that really are based more in the Alps um, and give you a, a different experience and perhaps a different view. Uh, and we're going to just look at a few options here. The first one of which, uh, which continues to be very popular for our customers, is our Switzerland's lakes and mountains holiday. Um, and this, uh, as with the previous holidays we've discussed, has customers arriving in Geneva, whether that's flying in or taking the train via Paris to arrive in Geneva. And you'll then travel on to Montreux, where you'll spend the first night of the holiday. Now, the Switzerland lakes and mountains holiday really combines three of the most spectacular scenic uh, railways certainly in Europe uh, and that is the Golden Pass, the Glacier Express and the Benina Express. So after your overnight in Montreux you will travel along the Golden Pass line to Interlaken and as the journey begins on the Golden Pass that route uh, rises above Lake Geneva offering amazing views of the Swiss Riviera. The train will then pass through a mountain tunnel at Jamont and then continues on to Gestatt. The highest point of the journey is 1,274 metres uh, before arriving in Zweisimmen. And from Zweisimmen, the train takes its way through the Simmer Valley and then continues on to Interlaken, perfectly placed between Lakes of Thun and Brienz. And Interlaken really is uh, spectacularly located to explore any number of uh, areas in Switzerland, any number of destinations. Uh, we suggest customers stay in Interlaken for two nights, um, which gives you ample opportunity to uh, discover any number of these. But it, our holiday here also includes an excursion on the Jungfrau Jock. Now, this is Europe's highest altitude railway station on top of the Jungfrau at an incredible 3,454 metres high. The journey on the Jungfrau Jock takes you to Kleiner Scheidegg, at the top before reaching the station at Eiger Gletschler. And from the Jungfrau Jock, I've been lucky enough to do it myself, you have absolutely breathtaking views uh, of uh, the Black Forest in Germany, right across to the Vosges Mountains in France. It's really uh, spectacular. So uh, after the Golden Pass and the Jungfrau uh, excursion, you will then uh, travel to Brig from Interlaken over the incredible Lurchberg mountain uh, and it's there that you'll pick up the Glacier Express. The Glacier Express is uh, often referred to as the slowest express train in the world and again I've been lucky enough to do this trip uh, a number of times myself at different times in the year, um, February, uh, May and October, uh, changing scenery at all times of those uh, throughout those uh, that year but absolutely spectacular um, nevertheless uh, whenever you choose to do it. So once you're on board the train um, in, in Brig, you'll follow the tracks through the majestic Swiss Alps on the journey from Brig to Coeur. Um, and it's, it's an ever-changing scenery. Uh, and it's often on the train a view that you would struggle to get any, any way else. Um, and in fact, on the Glacier Express route, um, really the only other people that see the view you'll see are people on cross-country skis. And there are a lot of, uh, of routes around there to, to facilitate that. So the train glides through a combination of alpine meadows, deep valleys, and then lush forests uh, to Coeur, where you'll spend two nights, Coeur being the oldest town in Switzerland. And from Coeur, you'll then have the opportunity to take yet another 
truly spectacular uh, scenic train here, uh, the Bonina Express. And the Bonina Express is uh, relatively unique in that the route it takes is entirely UNESCO World Heritage protected. Uh, so it goes without saying um, that the scenery from, from there is absolutely stunning. And again, as with the Glacier Express, it's an ever-changing scenery. So whether it's imposing glaciers, sheer rock gorges or far-reaching viaducts, um, really the scenery changes uh, throughout and you must watch out for the magnificent Landwasser viaduct um, on this journey, uh, uh, one definitely for many photos. So I mentioned Interlaken being uh, beautifully located for exploring uh, Switzerland, just a little image of uh, the one of the lakes there from Interlaken. The Jungfrau Jock uh, climbing up the Jungfrau, again, as I said, the highest railway station in all of Europe. And a summary then of Switzerland lakes and mountains holiday. Uh, we suggest this is a five day itinerary, although of course it can be extended with additional stopovers. The price of £1,319 includes your flight from the UK to Geneva and from Zurich back to London, although rail options are also available. It will also include, of course, your rail travel uh, on arrival in Switzerland throughout the trip, the five night hotel stays in Montreux, Interlaken and Coeur, your four day Swiss pass to facilitate those scenic rail journeys, as well as your seat reservations on the Golden Pass, the Glacier Express and the Benina Express. And the price also includes that spectacular day trip uh, up to the top of the Jungfrau. Just a few images here of the uh, Golden Pass first of all and then onto the Glacier Express and the Bonina Express and what you'll see from those images of the Glacier Express and Bonina Express are those spectacular panoramic coaches uh, which means that really customers wherever you're sitting whichever seat you have you will have a great view with those windows from waist height all the way around to the ceiling uh, you are guaranteed a good view wherever you are sitting. One other holiday that we will just touch upon um, is our Alberg Pass, uh, Zurich, Salzburg and Vienna. And uh, this uh, has a slightly different routing to the holidays that we've discussed thus far. Uh, with your journey beginning um, by rail from London to Zurich via Paris, with an overnight stay in Zurich before taking the train through the Swiss and Austrian Alps over the spectacular Alberg Pass. So you take the train through the Swiss and Austrian Alps over the Alberg Pass, as I say, um, and that travels along the bank of Lake Zurich before you are greeted with the spectacular alpine scenery. You briefly pass through Liechtenstein uh, on this itinerary before entering Austria. Uh, and again, the scenery is ever changing, whether it's mountain meadows or the peaks, uh, you have definitely uh, spectacular scenery at every turn. Um, you then spend two nights in Salzburg before travelling on to Vienna and this will have you travelling uh, on the Semmering Pass. So soon after Salzburg the train enters the Austrian Alps climbing through epic mountain scenery. Uh, be sure to look out for the magnificent fortress at Werfen perched on a hilltop on the right hand side en route to Villach um, and as you emerge from the Semmering Tunnel you'll get a close view of mountain peaks with the valley floor thousands of feet below. It's a really incredible journey. And then after spending three nights in Vienna, you have either the option to fly back directly to the UK uh, or indeed traveling overnight on the sleeper train from Vienna to Cologne and then onward from Cologne back to London um, with Eurostar. Just a few more destination images there of Zurich and Salzburg and Vienna. So our Olberg Pass holiday here, a uh, seven day holiday, starts from £809 per person and that cost includes flights from the UK to Zurich and Vienna to the UK, although as I say rail options are available throughout. The cost also includes your rail travel on the continent throughout this holiday, as well as your hotel stays in Zurich, Salzburg and Vienna, a total of six nights and again that is on a bed and breakfast basis. 
It's also just worth um, adding that the holidays I've discussed uh, this afternoon are by no means uh, the extent of our via the Alps or within the Alps uh, holiday programme. And we do have other options, including, for example, the Brenner Pass uh, between um, Munich, Innsbruck and Venice, where, again, you travel along one of Europe's most scenic rail journeys, uh, combining exciting cities along the way. Now, I've mentioned that we can tailor make our holidays and I've mentioned that uh, that includes regional departures in terms of your uh, local UK rail station, if you wish to rail throughout the holiday. But we do also have a number of uh, regional departures using regional airports. So just wanted to highlight some of those uh, possibilities now as well. So our Venice via the Alps uh, holidays are in fact, available from Edinburgh, Bristol, Birmingham and Manchester, for example, where you would arrive directly into Geneva to pick up that sample on pass route. The Lake Como via the Alps itinerary is also available from Manchester and Edinburgh. And our Switzerland Lakes and Mountains holiday uh, can be joined from Bristol and Manchester, for example. So there's lots of ways uh, for you to reach our holidays from your local area, whether that's with a regional flight or whether that's with UK Rail. So how to book? Um, we like to speak to you. We like to speak to the customers uh, who we are arranging these incredible holidays for. Uh, and so uh, our website is available for information. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail shortly. Uh, but really, for any inquiries, questions, quotes, bookings, confirmations, please pick up the phone and give us a call on 0203 780 2222. We have incredibly short hold times. You will get through to one of our experts um, currently within 30 seconds. Uh, and we do have an instant quote uh, policy. So we will turn around a quote within 10 to 15 minutes for you uh, with a price and a detailed itinerary based on your requirements. Of course, if you wish, if you prefer, you can also book uh, all of the rail bookers holidays that we've talked about today and everything that's on our website. You can book that with your local travel agent and we work with all of the uh, national independent travel agents um, around the UK and they can absolutely call on your behalf to book that for you as well. The website, as I mentioned, uh, is also available with really a wealth of information there uh, to do any number of uh, research projects for your holiday. We have uh, a number of really useful uh, pages. For example, if you look on the holiday types tab here, there is a whole section dedicated to via the Alps, which lists upwards of 20 different holiday itineraries, um, some of which we've spoken about today, but gives you a, a wider range of holidays to choose from if uh, via the Alps uh, itinerary is something that you're particularly interested in. We do also have a special offers tab there, and that is updated very, very regularly um, with details of our latest promotions, our latest discounts. And in fact, we do currently have um, discounts available that would apply to some of the holidays we've discussed here. We are currently offering £150 off our bookings to train holidays in Italy, for example, uh, and a saving of £300 per booking on the Orient Express holidays from Venice back to London. So worth having a look on the website for more details on that. We do also have a trip planning section on our website, which uh, has quite a lot of frequently asked questions about the logistics of traveling by train, what you will expect on board, what the different levels of accommodation provide, what your luggage allowance may be, uh, and uh, things like organizing special assistance if you require assistance in the train station. Uh, you will find more information on the website for that. But also, as I say, please feel free to give us a call on 0203 780 and we will be very happy to answer any questions related to any part of your holiday. So don't forget to download a copy of the map there on the right hand side um, and the question box there for you is on the right hand side too if you'd like to ask me any questions now. Does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask? So uh, we have a great question from Louise. Thank you, Louise. Um, Louise asks, can you organize transfers? Absolutely, we can. Thank you, Louise. Uh, we can include transfers to and from the hotels for you, for sure. Um, as we are tailor-made, we can add in, as I say, any number of things. So over and above your rail tickets and your hotel accommodation, we can also book flights, we can also book excursions, sightseeing, and uh, those transfers. Uh, so we can really create the whole package. 
We have a question from Steve here who asks, which hotels do you book? Great question. Um, one of the areas where we have uh, a great deal of flexibility is in our hotel um, partners. And we work with three, four and five star hotels uh, in all of the different locations that we cover. Um, that means that we can really select a hotel for you based on your specific requirements and we can vary that level of hotel throughout your holiday. So if in a particular destination uh, where you're perhaps only staying for one night, you'd prefer a three star uh, and perhaps at the destination you're spending three or four nights in, you'd prefer a four or five star. We can absolutely um, vary that throughout the holiday, um, meaning that we can uh, tailor that from your budget point of view, as well as from location, as well as uh, the style of the hotel. Really, it's incredibly flexible. Are there any more questions? Question coming in from Lee. Thank you, Lee. Lee asks, how much luggage can I take with me? Again, really good question. Um, the short answer is taking the train allows you to take more luggage than flying, for sure. Um, and the general policy for, for all of the trains that we've talked about uh, today, the high speed European trains, is that you can take two pieces of luggage and one piece of hand luggage per person with you. And that luggage is not weight restricted uh, and it's not uh, liquid restricted. So uh, it's not like the airports where everything has to be in 100 mil bottles. Uh, there are no such arrangements uh, when taking the train. The only caveat to that is uh, that you uh, are in charge of your luggage whilst you are in the stations and between your trains. So wheels are great for getting uh, your luggage along the platforms and onto the train um, but just also to add there is a lot more storage on European rail services than you would expect in the UK uh, so there are bigger luggage racks at the ends of each carriage on the high-speed trains in Europe there are also on some services luggage racks in the middle of those carriages and there is ample room for sort of small medium-sized suitcases directly above the seats as well so a lot more space to store luggage than you would expect uh, in the UK Does anybody else have any more questions? OK, in which case, all it's left for me to say is thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. It's been great to have you with us. I hope you found it useful and I hope it's given you some ideas of what is possible with rail bookers, um, with Alpine scenery, whether it's via the Alps or spending more time in the Alps themselves. A reminder there, our phone number is 0203 780 222. We're open seven to, uh, six days a week, sorry, Monday to Friday, 9 till 7, and Saturday, 9 till 5.30. We really hope to hear from you soon. We'll be very happy to put together any itinerary based on anything you've seen today or anything that you see on our website or in our brochure. We look forward to hearing from you, and thanks very much for joining us. Bye-bye.